it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. How you guys doing? Today is Monday. I think it's the 27th of January, 2020, I think. If that's not right, I'll put the right date up here. What a busy day this has been. I just got off work. Another great day for your U.S. Air Force. Pretty interesting day, too. I really enjoyed it. I wanted to show you guys, I long-armed, the quilt kit I had made... I picked up this kit from the Greater San Antonio Quilt Guild show uh, last September from Two Chicks Quilting Booth and I did a continuous trees pattern on it. Can you see that? It turned out super cute. I just had the, I just used a brown backing. It wasn't that big of a deal. You can see the trees better here in the backing. You know, it's a wall hanging. Nobody's going to see the back of it. so. I've got to get a binding on it, so that makes number three now. I've got to get a binding on. I also finished Phoebe. I think I showed you that in the sewing room tour. Because some of the fabric has cherries in it, I looked on Urban Elements for UrbanElements.com. It's E-L-E-M-E-N-T-Z, UrbanElements.com. They have digital long arm patterns. And I typed the word cherry in their, in their search box. And believe it or not, this pattern came up as a freebie. So that was very nice. I like that. It's cute. It was a, you know, it's kind of big, but I don't mind a bit. I don't know. This will probably be a, a charity quilt. After I took the Christmas quilt off the long arm, I had a lot of the edges left over of the backing, you know. And so I wanted to share with you guys what I do with my backing leftovers is I turn them into pre-cut usables so I have like half of a charm pack here almost and so what I could cut into five inch squares I did and then anything that was going to be cut into that couldn't make the five inches but uh, could make two and a half inch strips and these are gonna go you know this isn't enough for a jelly roll obviously but it could be one one day with some other fabric that I have left over I'd be real interested to hear how you manage all of your leftover large pieces, you know, what do you do with them, but I had seen a video, I think Lori Holt was talking about how she managed her leftover scraps, and she does this, and I thought that that was, uh, that was really cool, so. What did I want to share with you guys? I sold the Tim Lizzie 18 inch sit down, and the lady I sold it to, Tiny, hi Tiny. When we met, she gave me a couple of gifts, and I gotta show this to you. You guys, this is so cute. She made a clock for me. She got a luminaire for her birthday. How cool is that, right? And in the luminaire, I guess there's a pattern, and so she made this clock for me. How cute, huh? Isn't that nice? This is just adorable. <laughs> oh, that was great. She also had some other things, and. She knows I love my coffee, so she gave me this, and I put it on my sewing table. This big mug, everything is bigger in Texas. <laughs> That's what it says on both sides. Perfect for my sewing table, my cutting table here. Hey, you know what happened the other day? I got in a box from Missouri Star, which in itself, situation normal, right? But this time, when I opened that box... I looked at the fabric in there and I was like, what is that? <laughs> Has that ever happened to you guys? <laughs> Y'all, this had to have been a daily deal, okay? So I opened the fabric and, or I opened the box and it's called Blush and Blue. These are 10 inch squares by Henry Glass. And it's, it's just standard, you know, this is like a beige. These look like some reproduction fabrics. It's got some pinks and some blues, like some blush and blue, you know. I mean, and, and it's very pretty stuff. And then I also have this, this, what is this? This is the Floral Sprays Blue Yardage. Blush and Blue Floral Sprays Blue Yardage. I'll show you this. Very pretty. Okay. And this is Meandering Blossoms Blush. I keep cutting my head off <laughs> on the top of the screen. Let me show you this. Beautiful, right? 
Very pretty stuff. Y'all, I don't remember ordering this. And, you know, I check the daily deal every morning, and that's when I order it. So I cannot blame that on shopping with a glass of wine, because that has occurred as well. <laughs> now that I understand, but this, I thought, well, maybe they sent it to me by mistake, you know, and so I went on to my orders page, and no, oh, sure enough, I ordered it. I, uh, what a surprise. <laughs> Goofy, oh my goodness. Sometimes in your Facebook streams, I don't know about y'all's, but on mine, I always see the most darling t-shirts. And they are, some. most of them are fabric related or quilting or sewing or something like that. I have purchased three t-shirts from this, uh, this company. And it's out of China, I know, because it takes forever to get here and then the labels are all in Chinese. The company is called T. It's T-E-E-M-C-S-X dot com. The bright, vibrant picture that you see on the, on, the, on the screen in your Facebook feed, that's not how they come, okay? So I want to show you guys this one. I paid $35 for this t-shirt. And I know they run small. The shirt I have on right now is an extra large. I bought this one. This is, um, this, this is from Angela Walters, Quilting is My Therapy. And... Uh, Finish better than perfect. This this is one of her t-shirts, and so you buy it here in the U.S. and wherever she's sourcing it from. But so this is an XL. This is usually what I wear, but because these shirts online traditionally run a little bit small, I went ahead and ordered a 2X. First of all, let's look at the size of the 2X. This thing is dinky. Look at that. This 2X. Look how it look how it looks against me with my XL. USXL, okay? And then look at the print. It is not, it's very faded out and you can see through it. it. The print is faint. It's not vibrant. See, I don't know if you can tell on the W. It's just kind of faded out. And then I was so disappointed. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a pink bleach blotch. Right now I got spots from the light that's around the camera. It's right here. It's like a pink bleach spot. So disappointing. I paid, I paid $35 for this shirt. And it's junk. So I won't be ordering from TMCSX anymore. As cute as it is, they are not quality products, in my opinion. So just letting you guys know that. Buyer beware on these. So one of the other things I had wanted to work with was I had told you guys I was going to work on figuring out how the Luminaire could scan in a design and then create stippling around it. And I know Terry Maffitt has videos on how to do that. I want to learn how to do that on the applique quilt. I keep pointing back here. I move my quilt rack over there. I want to learn how to do that on the applique quilts that I made, especially the Hallelujah and the Safari Way to Grow from Urban Elements. I, I, I want to figure out how to do that and that way I can finish out those smaller quilts in the embroidery machine and do that on the Luminaire. So from Hallelujah, I had an extra star block. So this is going to be my first thing that I give it a try on. But um, yeah, I mean, this is good. It's got points and it's small enough that, you know, you don't have to do a whole bit. I can do this in the 5x7, I think and uh, just see how it goes. I know one thing you do need to do when you go to try that, I know you need to turn off the auto thread cutter so that you can pull up that bobbin thread and that way it looks nice and neat uh, on the back. So, I want to thank all of my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. You guys had such thoughtful questions too and comments about my sewing room tour. I really appreciate that. So, you know, a lot of you say it feels like you're just sitting there chatting with your girlfriend in your sewing room, and that's what I really like. Oh, I heard from the Modern Quilt Guild about attending QuiltCon. That's awesome. They are excited to have me. I am excited to go. I don't know a whole lot about modern quilting, but what the heck, it's quilting, right? So I like this channel to be for everybody, so that's going to be really neat. My friend Lisa is going with me. We've got media creds. Yay! Uh, I'll be in there on Thursday, February 20th in Austin, Texas, 
uh, doing a video of quilt cons so be on the lookout for that that should be pretty neat and a lot of fun I'm gonna be speaking with their I don't know if her title is executive director or whatever but she's uh, she's the lady in charge of it all and she's a a, a product of multi generations of quilters so um, I'm really interested to hear how all that works and see all of the pretty quilts that are there and there will be a lot of vendors there too so that'll be that'll be kind of neat oh I went shopping I know that's a surprise right that I went shopping <laughs> well when I met tiny to sell the machine we met at all brands in San Antonio and they had just gotten in two new panels that were super darling just love them look at this truck check out the truck y'all how cool is that neat and I could not figure out how, you know, what fabrics went with it uh, to do an inner border and an outer border. I knew I wanted to use this as an outer border. And I wasn't sure about an inner border. There was this really sweet customer there. Her name was Jerry. I'm going to put her picture right here. Jerry was so sweet. I... She said, oh, pick an orange. And I'm like, uh, you know how many oranges there are? Who can do that? I can't do that. So most of y'all can. That is not my thing, you guys. So I said, well, come with me and help me out. So she came over to the <laughs> end of the aisle with me. She was laying bo bolts out all over the floor and, and uh, putting it all together. She did a fabulous job. I'm just so excited. So here's what it's going to look like. There's This will be the inner border. There's the outer border, and that will be my binding. Didn't she do a good job with that? Let me put that like that. Isn't that nice? That's going to look so cool. It is called Red Rock Reflections uh, Blank Quilting. But look at these. Look at these, you guys. The skulls. <laughs> How cool is that? That is so fun. I love those. I'm definitely going to keep those. So I love how designers use the selvages to come up with those cute little, you know, color things to tell you what colors are in their, their fabric. I think that's really neat. And another thing I got, a lot of you, I said that I had this whole kind of flamingo thing going on in here, but I didn't have a flamingo. <laughs> they have a flamingo panel. I got to show you guys. My friend Lisa like this. She's a big flamingo person. Look at that. Isn't that precious? How cute is that? I love it. It's just darling. So um, this one has a pretty wide border, pink border on it. So I think I'm just going to leave that as the first inner border. And then I bought, they've got some pink cocktails. I will do the outer border in the pink cocktails. And then the, the backing, I bought this all over flamingo print. So it's not directional they're upside down sideways they're not they're, they're not sideways they run one direction so but it's a wall hanging so that's really cute and this is flamingo beach for studio fabrics so all brands has this in san antonio i don't know about the other stores but super darling stuff so i will hang my flamingo panel in my room because i need one you know i've got geckos and i have parrots and i got a big lizard up there so That'll be pretty cute. I'm still working on the blue bonnet quilt and I'm st I'm still doing the the churn dash blocks. So there were 16 more churn dash blocks that I needed to make and I'm going to knock out two of them a day is my goal. So that, you know, should make it should should that I get them done in 8 days and then I still have the dark Irish chain blocks to make. So uh, that's going to be really pretty. I Hopefully I can get it on the long arm by mid-February. That would be awesome. So, all right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the sewing room tour and got a lot of inspiration out of that. Again, thank you so much for all of your wonderful comments. And I hope you give this video a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Go sew something. Bye.